start streaming. Um, okay. I think we should be solid. Let's check. Uh, test, test, test. Okay. Great. <clears throat> oh boy. It is uh, 8.30 and uh, I woke up tired. <sighs> oh, duh, here we go, boom. Cue it up. There we go. So I woke up pretty tired today. Late start, uh, I'm still pretty tired. Um, I don't know what's up with me. I was just tossing and turning all night. So, um, Tonight, what we're gonna do is make the interior, uh, airplane interior, 1960s. Mm -mm -mm. I tried looking for some on like Turbo Squid and CG Trader, but it just wasn't really jiving with me. Um, you know what, actually, I didn't, let me see, turbosquid.com. Airplane interior. Mm, low poly. Uh, uh. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna end up modeling my own. Cause all this shit is just a little too modern, a little too high poly, a little too nice. Yeah. That's no good. What we want is something like this. Mm. Mm. Hmm. That could be interesting. That's probably closer. Oh, and we have archive footage, so that's good. Ooh, okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, this, I like this. I like that. Not so much these. No. No. Oh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. I could commit to those first few picks. Hmm. That's a cool picture.
I think all I'm really looking for now is something closer to the cabin um, front, the where the pilot is. Having a hard time visualizing what that looked like. be it. Four folks. Dinah says hello. And Nediak says, will there be a shoe phone? <laughs> so I ha I do have plans for converting any item into um, a microphone, a microphone camera, or um, dead drop device, or a dead drop container. Um, so ideally the world will be filled with all these, uh, props and, um, you could sort of like take something and combine it with every prop. So even if you're like at a cafe and an NPC orders like, you know, a shot of espresso, drinks their espresso and then leaves a little cup there, you should be able to take that little cup and like put a mic on the bottom of it or, um, you know, things like that. Also, the, the feature, I'm not sure if you've seen before, but I have it set up so it's like, you can take off your shoes so you walk quieter. Um, that is, uh, sorry, I'm so branded right now. Uh, that is probably gonna be tied into like also all the other things you could do with, with items, right? Like you could take the shoes and you can also turn them into a camera listening device or uh, a dead drop device. How are you guys doing tonight? What's up? Um, and should I just commit to this already? Cause I kind of feel like I'm not really gonna find any better pictures. I feel like this is as good as it gets, right? Ooh, okay. I hate, there we go, okay. Ah, oh, I hate Pinterest so much. I hate Pinterest so much. They are the worst. It's like this picture's right here. I can't even right click on it. Oh my God, that is the worst. All right, whatever, I don't even care. Let's see what else. Um. Hmm. Mm. It's crazy. Okay. I think it was this? No. Mm. And take this. Um. Will there be a mechanic where you need to go through security checkpoints with transformed items? Yes. <clears throat> or I should say, I intend there to be. I really want there to be. There are plans to do that. Um, I saw the shoe mechanic and thought that was clever. Uh, snipping tool comes in handy. Snipping tool? What do you mean snipping tool comes in handy? What is a snipping tool? Like scissors? Um, but what, what was it, like I had, um, uh, oh, the, uh, besides a dead drop thing, I also have an anal cavity container idea where if you're stealing something, if it's small enough, you could put it in this anal cavity container, put the container up your ass, and so if an NPC catches you and then searches you, you can, you can get away without being, 
like, yeah, without being caught. Um, without them finding the thing on you. I don't know how to balance that exactly, because it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a... Just a totally win situation. Like a... What is it? it not, it's not necessarily OP, but it just feels a little imbalanced, you know, because that means you could... Why not hide it there every time? I might make it so, like, anal cavity containers are, like, either really expensive, um, or maybe they, like, fuck up how you walk after. Maybe they, like, make it so you have to walk slower or something. Oh, snipping tool for the Pinterest picture. Right, 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 right. Well, the thing is, is, like, it also gave me that little one, right? So, like, um, um, like, I could have just went, but then... I would have had that tiny one. And I really was hoping to have like a bigger, see like if I could do this, yeah, see that's what I'm talking about. Um, okay. So I think I'll use this. I'm gonna save it just in case all this closes on me. Mm. Uh, let's see, airplane. Close that. Okay. So, we're gonna go into cinema. Whoa, what's up with cinema? Nope. Whoa. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, check out our oh wait, also there's this this picture hmm all right so these chairs they got they got a pretty basic form and they have a space underneath so it's bars as the legs, it's like, okay, it's like an H type of thing. Um, seats are flat, back is tilted a little bit, and the top has a headrest. Side arms come up and are solid, and then it's almost a separate piece that comes out. Seat is a cushion and what looks like a metallic base. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. <clears throat> okay, let's make the metallic base first. Mm, and then what I'll do is I'll just bring in a little stick figure later to kind of make sure I'm positioning this right. I wonder if I can get this in, if this is too small. That seems good, okay. Just so y'all can see too. All right. Um. Let's bring it out a little bit. Okay. And then um, this is beveled. Kinda deep, TBH. That, I'm just taking into account the actual backrest too. Um, and we'll just say that this side and, oops, this these two sides will, let's see, connect cut edges, stop cut at pull. Stop, cut it, and gone. There we go. So it'll come up like right there. Restrict to selection though. Okay. 
Grab those. Extrude it out. And then get this, extrude that out. Today I'm on time. Hellish Razor, I kid you not. I saw those comments twice in a row, and I said, today I'm going to wait until the very end of the day when it seems like Hellish Razor is able to be there. Uh, so, um, I am here very much because I didn't want you to miss it. <laughs> um, bring that out a little bit. Honestly, might even double that. Um, oh no, that doesn't really work though. We want to bevel the other thing. So we'll take... Oops, yeah, we'll take that. Extrude again. And then take that. Take that out, bevel, um, am I tripping, isn't there a different, no, 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 okay, that's fine, maybe I just want to bring it out more like that, yeah, and this one is the one that turns into the armrest, so it'll be, It up. These are kind of obnoxious. Like that, like that. Out like that. Shrink them down. We actually will just grab this and this and then bring it up. And then get this and this and what is it M S is that bevel yeah okay Ooh. okay like that all right that works um six folks in the chat what are you up to what is going on how's your Sunday been you do any uh, work on your Games, if you're working on any games, have you done any work on your games today or this weekend? Tell me, tell me, tell me what you've been up to. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Time to put in the seat. So we'll take this. How's this gonna come out like? Hmm. Could just do that and then. The problem with that is that if I grab this, this clips. So. Hmm. Hmm. This one's kind of hard. Dance Doctors East Valley says, I got Playmaker, I like it. Made the vertical shooter tutorial. Oh, dope, there you go. Nice, classic uh, Raiden. Did you ever play Raiden or Raiden? Is it Raiden? I loved Raiden 2. I love the soundtrack for Raiden 2 so much. I wish I could play it right now. Um, and uh, wasn't a really big fan of 19... It was like 1982 or something like that. There was a, I remember there was a top, uh, one of those kind of vertical shooters. That was a, it was, it was a historical war one. I wasn't that into that one, but huge Raiden fan, huge Raiden 2 fan. 
Okay, so... I think I could just make this the cushion. I think this is chill. And I'll just rotate it a little bit. Drop it down. Rotated it too much, like that. And then uh, maybe take like, how many of these can I take without fucking it up? ML, no, 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 MS? Okay, you got a decent bevel in it. Okay, that's not bad. Um, but you know what? I feel like I should just commit to one like that more. Maybe. Made me want to make a Knight Rider VR thing. <laughs> that's rad. <laughs> Wait, Knight Rider as in... Wait, that's Knight with a K. Was Knight Rider? I'm... See, when you say Knight Rider, I think of the... of the car. Um... Let's try that one more time. Let's see if... Let's see how much I can get away with on this. MS. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I could just change the amount of subdivisions. That looks better. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I could totally fuck with that. All right, so there's our cushion, there's the thing, there's the armrests. Um, I could just to really tighten it up. Um, take that and that, and then just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the seat that comes up back here. Okay, L, restrict to selection. I think, um, Maybe it's about that thick. Is that pretty good? Mm -mm. The car, okay, right, yeah. Didn't it get dropped from a semi in the NES game? Do you have any advice about making a rope swing in VR? Um, so in VR, I think the, the toughest thing to overcome is the motion sickness thing, unless you have zero concern for people who get motion sickness. And it does seem that the majority of people actually do um, experience some tiny degree of motion sickness. They might not describe it as such, but it is a general feeling of discomfort that people feel when their equilibrium is like confusing their visual perception with their like physical sensation perception. And a lot of people just describe that as general discomfort and they wouldn't really call it like sickness but that is what motion sickness is. And so to negate that altogether so people can just have a comfortable gaming experience, um, you want to use all the tricks available to you. Um, and I think when you're talking about a, a rope uh, a rope swing, <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is like, well, figure out a way from the ground up that you can make it at least semi-comfortable or at, or at least a, a, have the options for people. Um, to make it like a comfort mode kind of thing. Um, uh, da, da, da. It's for me, we were, uh, were dance teachers. We were dance teachers for years. Um, so the, but the actual physics of it, if it's not that, that's just the first thing that came to mind, but the actual physics of it, I would look on the asset store, honestly. I remember um, when I was doing the uh, Kill Book 69,000, um, that was in VR, actually. What I wanted to do was I wanted it so whenever you plugged the laptop in to the computer that you were hacking, that like a little cable shot out and like connected to it. Um, and back then I was like 
completely unemployed, piss broke, so I couldn't afford it, but I saw a really cool um, ropes physic asset on the store. Um, and I tried a few things though that uh, that worked okay. Um, some like free solutions, but if you just want to drop a few bucks, uh, it looks like the asset store had some pretty good uh, solutions. Um, motion sickness isn't a thing. I got the grapple app asset, right? Um, yeah, so that's kind of, that's where I would start. That's all, that's all I really kind of think of first. Um, the thing is I don't do many physics-based things, so it would be kind of a learning experience for me to try to figure out how to do a rope swing. Um, let's see. I guess a good question to ask yourself is how far do you want the rope swing to go? Because you could do a pseudo version that doesn't necessarily have to use physics. Okay. Bring the seat up. And... Let's see, we'll bring it up to like... Let's bring, push it back. Rotate this. Right about... Right about there. And then, you know, I, I kind of want these seats to be just a little short, just so you could see NPCs' heads, like the top of their heads. Um, oh, but, okay, so it's gonna be like that. Is this seat too, way too far back? I feel like it's a bit long. Those seats look super long. I guess I'm just gonna have to adjust it. Uh, it should start higher than the goal area, I would assume. And thank you. No problem, you got it. Okay, because I just always have this idea in my head that those those stick figure NPCs have such short thighs. Um, so I'm just gonna bring it up to like right about here, maybe a little shorter. Like that, and then that's actually good. Yeah. Okay. KL. Boom. Right here. Grab that, extrude. Um, oh, you know what? It's like, grab these two boys, and then, what is it? Melt? I always forget which one it is. It's like, weld, st stitch and sew. Huh, okay, that works. Like that, and then I mess that shit. Should be bigger though. So like this should be like, oop, like right there. Ms, and then that offset or where is it? It's the depth. There we go. That looks pretty good. Though that thing is more of a half circle. It looks like it straight up goes out. Subdivision. Can I do more depth? Oh, okay. So. Hmm. That's weird that it makes that. So if I did this, maybe I could patch that up, grab this, and bevel that? No. How would I bevel this right? I 
I guess that's fine. Oh, oh, I just go all the way to the top. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Interessant. All right, and I'll change that depth back down to 100. And then work my way up like that. There we go. It seems kind of intense now, but uh, that, that looks good. Fine, fuck it, that looks great. Okay, looking good. Um, whew. And then we're gonna put those uh, those bars on bottom, and then we'll texture this shit. So maybe this isn't one piece. Maybe it's. Maybe it's something like this. Mm -mm. I feel like I can get away with something like this. And then going like boom. And boom. John Jero, love your streams. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's fun doing them. Love doing this. Glad you're here. What you got going on? Got anything you're working on? Ah, mm. oh, but then when I delete this. That's just bullshit. Ooh, I do like the idea of hiding shit underneath your seat too. Okay. Okay. So if you don't do that. Oh, maybe I can do that. Maybe I do like this, and then what's that one thing called? Smooth shift. Did that do it? That kind of did it, huh? Let me see. Yeah, and then I could just patch that up. Nice, okay, so let's, let's do it to both of them. Smooth shift out. There we go. There we go. Dope, dope, dope. And then I could do bridge. And then I bridge it like that. Bridged. 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 Bridged, bridged. All right, I think these are all, let's make sure all my normals are good. All right, looking clean. Let's just shrink you down a little bit. Mm, like that. Maybe even like, doop, like that. Oh, oh, they probably need to be longer, huh? Like that, a little wider. Maybe it look like from back here. Like that. Dope, that's us. Okay, so airplane, uh, seat, underscore legs. Um, airplane, seat, body. Put them in a one, call this. Airplane seat. And we'll call this airplane. Uh, Dinah says, I'm currently editing a video and it's really frustrating because I've been editing for five days and it's only been three minutes. Yeah. 
That's the way it goes sometimes, huh? <laughs> um, just uh, stay on it. Stay on it, bro. Just woke up. You're trying to do a PSX style horror game with the HP Lovecraft uh, little story because I loved playing games like Nun Massacre. So scary. Never played Nun Massacre. Uh, the title... There's this book. Oh boy. Looking dark. It reminds me of, I think it's like six nuns and a shotgun. There was a, this really schlocky book. Yeah, here it is. What? $65? This has to be like some crazy edition, right? Cause I just found this, I just found this book like in really good condition, honestly, laying around. That must be, I hope I didn't miss out on slanging it for $65. Anyhow, okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, you know, I've actually really wanted to do some some cosmic horror Lovecraft style game. I've always wanted to do one about the. Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard about the the way you get to uh, the dream world, where it's like you're in a dream, and if you find a staircase, you go down the staircase. And that staircase will lead to like the dream world. Um, and the only way to get out of it, I think, is to just go back through that staircase. Otherwise, you can get like stuck in the dream world or whatever. There's like this YouTube channel where this English dude reads um, or he narrates the sort of the the sort of nutshell Cliff Notes version of uh, Lovecraft stuff. And, it's, and it puts like paintings and stuff behind it and it's just so like, oh, it's so my jam. Mm, Dan, you're so good at 3D modeling. I'm all right, I'm all right, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Not bad, right? I remember back in the day I used to really, um, when I was a kid and I'd never done any 3D modeling, I really wanted to, uh, let me just get some textures.com open really quick. Um, I really wanted to learn 3D modeling and I got Cinema 4D and I got a book and I downloaded some courses on how to do it. And it was like, you know, 20 hours of Cinema 4D courses. And I remember at the beginning of the, the, the course, it said like, you'll be able to make this. And it was this super, like pretty shitty quality um landscape it was like you know rolling green hit it was pretty though it was kind of like idealistically it was really pretty to me but in retrospect it was like pretty poor quality but it was like rolling green hills and then like a river and some flowers and some bushes and like trees and then like you know the sky and the sun and everything and i was like oh shit like when i'm done with this course like all i have to do is put in 20 hours of work that's it. And then I could start making my own worlds like that. And I was like, that that's gonna be crazy. And kind of without ever realizing it, I was already at that point where like, you know, so eventually I got to that point where I was cranking out my own worlds. And um, yeah, it was just, uh, sometimes I take it for granted, but every now and then I get reminded and it's like, yeah, this is, it's awesome. It's a great skill to have. It's really rewarding. Okay, so these have like these kind of shysty, not shysty, uh, gaudy. So many things in the 60s and 70s were in such poor taste, but there's a lot of things in there that are good. Like, I wonder what would happen if you just searched like vintage. Like, can I get some textures in here from materials? 
Mm. Gives you a bunch of tiles. Or what about like, uh, is it upholstery? Is that how you spell upholstery? How do you spell upholstery? I'm illiterate. Upholstery. Nothing. But here's a hot tip for you. If you find some results that are anything near what you're looking for, you can click on them and look at what keywords they have other than that. Fabric. Padded. I'll even search designer. Furniture. Seat. Cloth. Stitched. Okay. Fat cushion. Uh, all right. I think that about covers it. So let's see what we got. Nothing in there. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's kind of getting. Yep. I, plaid? Maybe plaid, right? Um, maybe even this color if we put a pattern on it. Um, maybe even this one. I feel like a lot of it is kind of like I could kind of do... There we go. This is what I'm fucking talking about. Here we go. Nice. I could even do that one. This is great. Right here. Hmm... Okay, I think that about does it. Let's, okay, get rid of that one. Mm. Nah, this one's too big, huh? Too vague. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. And this is cloth. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. All right, but we got some good ones. Got that one. Oh, you know what's kind of fucked up though? Is like, it kind of looks like these height maps have the textures in them. Like, sometimes I wish they would just give the rendered out one, you know? Like, what does this look like? What's the... Holy shit, that is so fucking huge. You can, like, see the fibers. <laughs> okay, well... Um... What do you think? Do we just, uh... See, like, this doesn't even read. This one? Can't do that one. That one, maybe. This one... I'm not sure how... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice, that one, I could do that one. Uh, that one... Okay. Uh, let me see. I can't believe how massive these are. I'll skip this one though. That one, keep it open. Okay, cool, let's commit. Let's do this for, well, I guess the seats, because I'm looking at the floor, the walls. This could be the walls. No, this could be the walls. This could be the seats, right? Yeah. Walls. Or should we use this one because it's more contrasty? Because it's like a red. This one? Is that like crazy? Is that ridiculous? I feel like the subdued. Here we go. Let's just go with this. Let's get it. Do I have to sign in first? Fuck. Come on.
I say we borrow it. Borrow it? You mean just straight up jack that shit? Because I'm gonna just... Fucking 15 premium credit? Okay, we're just getting the little one. Let's just get this little one. I'll just tile it if I need to. Uh, spy game, textures. It's not in items. Uh, I'm gonna just put it in airplane. Airplane. Okay, got that one. And we'll get the. We'll get that one too. Uh, it needs me to log in again. Dope. Medium. Okay, let's throw those on. Spy game, textures, airplane. Wait for that to finish downloading. What the fuck? Is it not done downloading? Why is this two and a half megabyte file? There we go. Yeesh. Okay. Putting these boys in there. No, ma'am. Gonna drop this one on there. And then we're gonna take. Oh no! You know what? We need a. Uh, we need some plastic. Let's do one thing at a time. Let's do one thing at a time. Okay. We'll grab this boy. Go over to UV Edit. And um. Grab them all. Optimal mapping. Let's see. Can we get away with that? Nope. Okay, materials. Do, do, do. Yeah, we gotta maybe grab all of it. And then just. Does this work? If it's just this part, right, and just the seat, then I would say that that's looking okay. Except for this, actually. This looks stretched out as fuck. Grab that. And then we will box project it. Grab it, blow it up so it matches a little closer. Like that. There we go. Okay, and now we'll put the plastic on. So, let's get some. What do we want, actually? Hmm, so a darker color for the armrests and a lighter color for the base. Though, to be honest, with plastic, you could usually just get away with grabbing that body, grab that body, and then, uh, you know, do something like, uh, Oh shit, but it's only the... Aya, aya. Which one do I want it to do first? Let's do that first. So I don't want these. Okay. But I do want this. Like that. That. I think that looks good. Alright. Go up here. Make a new one. Call these airplane seat 
arm rests. Mm. And we will make it like almost like a. I can imagine this being like a kind of like this color, like a really dark red, almost like getting to Brown Town. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, and then these. Let's see. Wait a second. Wait a second. Now. Doesn't look that great yet, but. We have five people watching, guys. I want to see, like, I want to see five likes there. Oh, yeah. Por favor. Can, can we match, can we match the, uh, uh, what is it? The, uh, the body count to the actual likes? Because it often sees, seems so disproportionate. <laughs> You know, and I'm not sure if that's a if that reflects on me uh, very well, but yeah. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is it. Big moment. Wait, did I just? Okay, here we go. Arms, armrests. Uh, bottom. And it is more of like a kind of a cream color, I imagine. Right, like this. And go like that. There we go. Is this just like super gaudy? Should this be a lot less ridiculous like that? That kind of looks like it makes more sense, huh? Mm, someone is imposter. Who's the imposter? Because there's four people now. Someone was like, no, not my jam. Airplane seats, not, not nearly as exciting as things can be. But we will put, <sighs> jeez. I am kind of thinking now that that should be, that I am kind of skimping out, huh? It's just, it's not doing it for me. It has to have like some kind of texture, just a little bit of, a little bit of shiny on it. Somewhere, what, what, what is like, like I want to search like a plate or, you know, what, what can I search that has a smooth enough surface, but that might have a couple scratches in it, little imperfections here and there. Kind of getting like this. Or... like this, right? I could even maybe take this dumpster and make it, oh yeah, 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 this one. I have a good feeling about this dumpster. <laughs> okay, let's try it, let's try this, let's get this premium dumpster out of here. Okay, take it in to the shop. New, let's do, let's do a, Shit, let's do 1200 by 1200. Okay. Um, drop that boy in there. And then, uh, can I just get rid of some of this shit like, and really maximize my real estate over here? Rasterize. Fill it up. Dope. Uh, just in case we want this shadow edge stuff. Fill. Oops, missed a part. 
still. Philharmonic. See? See, it's like... It is kind of dirty, right? But it is also nice and smooth. Has some dynamics with, like, uh, lighting on it. And kind of just... It's not just solid, you know? Um, and so I think I could take, like... I think I could take... Literally like this. And then control V. And then like do this. Fill. And just let AI <laughs> handle the rest. Fill. Fill and fill. Is that too dirty? Maybe if I use it all as one thing, right? So, okay, so the, the, the ch let's duplicate it. And this one is like, uh, it's like this, right? Is that kind of what we're going for on this one? It almost looks like cardboard now, though. Shit. Hmm. Making assets is very time consuming. Sure is. <laughs> yeah, sure is. You know, and I really enjoy making assets. I, I, re I, or I can really enjoy making assets. It's so weird. Like I can bounce back and forth between like, like I hate when I need to make assets, but I'm in the mood for programming, and then vice versa happens. You know, and and it's a real pain in the ass because like. There are times where I'm absolutely in the mood for doing one over the other. And yeah, I just, I wish I could jump back and forth more easily. There are times where I just, I, I've been on art station and I'm like, can somebody, can I just like teach somebody like the formula I like? Can I kind of, like, have you guys ever seen this thing? It's like uh, Mike Judge. Uh, King of, of the Hill, like, I want to say, like, Rules of Animation or something. Do's and Don'ts. This. Here we go. So, Mike Judge handed this off to, or what does it say? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, Mike Judge handed this to his, like, animators. No blinks during action. <laughs> By the way, Comic Sans. No blinks during acting transitions. Hopeful, angry. No looking into the camera. Uh, do not hold mouth open during drinking. See, like, not good. Do not hold eyes closed during drinking. Not good. Don't draw Peggy too shapely. So this is proper Peggy. Animator's dream Peggy. And there's, a, there's way more of this stuff. Oh, uh, here's the whole list, but, um, you know, I've always wanted to do that with like my modeling stuff because I feel like it can be more or less systematized like this, where I can ask somebody just like, hey, you know, fucking check this out. Look at this seat. This seat is dope. Like recreate it, make some minor tweaks to it, keep the spirit of the, the seat alive, follow the the really over overall sort of like, kind of balance of, of size and color and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, assets, they take forever, huh? Uh, did Colorize make it? It almost doesn't even look like plastic anymore. I'm still gonna try. Oof, it's so... Hmm. 
Imagine God making a multiplayer game called World in Photo Realistic Games. Uh, you know, whatever cosmic creator, whether it be a <sighs> giant bowl of spaghetti with teeth and eyes, or uh, you know, a bunch of turtles stacked on top of each other. Whatever is at work in designing this is like, <sighs> we got a lot to learn. I feel so behind. I feel inadequate. When I'm like, oh shit, the fucking texture resolution on my hands, like, damn, like, and I'm over here stressing about a 1200 by 1200 JPEG, like, come on. Um, I'm also just so not into this one right now. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna commit to it. Right, let's do, let's do one more for the dark one. Adjustments, hue and saturation, colorize, darkness, like that. It gets so fucking distorted. Damn it. Ah. Okay, okay. You know what? How about this? How about this? How about this? Dark wood. Dark wood, my dude. Don't want planks. I thought I was going to blaze through this seat. This is actually kind of good. I like this. Ah, oh, man. Like, can I just get... Let's see if this is doable. could you eventually trick this into like yeah like could you do like Dark Wood. Isn't that a TV show? Well, she likes to say we should, but you know we always will. The hottest catch me at this. This might be acceptable. This let's let's see. Um, okay. Image adjustments, hue and saturation, colorize. Desaturate a little bit, darkness down a little bit, hue. Also, I guess it really isn't about the lightness. Like, I think I probably have to adjust the levels. So it's more like, yeah, that might be a little closer to how it. Because then you start losing all that specular, which is kind of the shininess that we want to preserve. But at the same time, shit. Nah, it just loses so much detail. 
Fucking hell. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm um, kind of at a loss. Kind of at a loss for how to do this. Whatever. You know what? Honestly, I think I've hit diminishing returns, and I need to get back to this. So I'm going to get a medal for this, and then we're moving on. So, let's see, um, I think we might even have metals, uh, black metal. <sighs> like this, or like, uh, like this. That's good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nope. Call this air airplane seat uh, legs. Let's drop that on there. And then grab all that shit. UV edit. Optimal mapping, apply, eef, projection box, is that better? There we go. But they are way too small. So maybe, let's see. Um, let's try. Just doing this box, nope, cubic. That is kind of how it needs to be done. Yeah. What type of graphic style are you going with? Well, um, oops. It's, it's kind it's like, Generally, I could describe it as like low poly with realistic textures or like high res textures. Um, that's kind of how I could summarize it, but also I'm not doing that low poly. I'm, like I'm trying to avoid doing low poly where like you really see the blockiness of everything too much. Like you are going to see that, but what I'm trying to go for is probably closer to like when games were low poly, but were using tricks to at least not appear like they were. Um, so like this, for example, like these legs, like the legs on this on this thing actually were at kind of hard angles and stuff. And it looks like maybe they were more cylinders or something, but like you can imagine that something utilitarian like the legs on the bottom of an airplane seat would be super squared off angles, you know? So um, I try to like, make sure that things like cushions and stuff, like that's at least beveled a little bit, you know? I don't like seeing the sharp corners of things too much, so I'll give it a decent amount of um, resolution, you know? But you can still see the, if you know, if you're looking closely enough. But you're gonna be up here and shit, you know? From up here, you can't really see the edges of those polys. It's only when you get up and like, get all up in it. Um, so it's kind of like, I would say the style is generally like this low poly with high res textures. I'm gonna lower this shit. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna do that for all of them. Like that. Cubic. Cubic. No. I think it does just need to be like. I don't know why this one. Put it like right here. And then grab these ones. And then if you do non uniform scale, you can just flip it around. Put it on top of that one. Grab this little guy. Boom. Grab everything. Make it nice and big so it fills out all that resolution. And that might look a little bit better. Oh, 
Oh, also, I think it's kind of appearing lower res because this editor. There we go. And what about this one too? No scaling. And this. These are just colors. Okay, cool. This is looking a little too beach cherry for me, though. It looks a little too deep for a chair, doesn't it? Doesn't this chair look look a... Damn, that's what I was thinking. Wait, what were you thinking? But, but... Fuck, this, this chair is... I can't believe... Okay, I'm just gonna... Let's see. Shit, how did I... Could I get away with grabbing these? Ah, oh, shit. I hope I didn't fucking paint myself into a corner on this one. Oh, good. Okay, like right there. And then legs. Like this. Like that. Okay, that's looking better. Woo, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Anyways. Does that look pretty good? Still a little long, doesn't it? Doesn't it look a little... Am I tr fucking tripping? There's only one way to find out. I think what I need to do is... Um, player animations, no. Spy game, animations. Is there, a, I need a sitting down one. Reacting, standing, arguing, walking. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring one of these guys in. I'm just gonna try to like position them really quick. Uh, is there a mode I can go into rigging? No, I just want that, huh? Okay. Let's sit this dude down. That. Oops. Oh shit, I forgot these are all animated. Okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste him. And then, gonna delete all of his animation shit. good all of it's gone right great okay okay Perhaps even a little bit more in, and then raise those legs up a little bit. Okay, so that's kind of how it's gonna look when they're sitting. Let's see if I can uh, Alt G <clears throat> figure test. Copy them. Window, airplane, this mode, paste them in. <laughs> oh, 
That's a little baby. Oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see this. Have you tried using Blender? Can you compare with Cinema 4D? Yeah, I have Blender, and uh, I use Blender every now and then. Uh, it's right there. Um, yeah, so Blender is so amazingly powerful, and I think it's like a really great tool, and I think that basically if you have the patience and time uh, to go and, and use Blender, if you can't afford um, Cinema 4D and you're kind of just more concerned about... I don't know, there's a lot of things to consider, but basically I think what it comes down to is Cinema 4D is powerful enough to do like most things with a few plugins here and there, but like for what I want to do, for the type of stuff that I'm doing, um, and for what I used to do, and hopefully we'll do more of in the future, but yeah, my career was in visual effects, so like doing, um, you know, CGI for movies, this was still plenty, like, powerful for me. And um, yeah, I think the strength of Cinema 4D is its user interface. The strength of Cinema 4D really comes down to how quickly you can learn it. But, you know, much like Playmakers, Cinema 4D is a really sort of low barrier to entry to use it. Um, while simultaneously being like really really strong so um, Yeah, uh, cinema 4d is uh, It's been my weapon of choice for a pretty long time, but I think um, yeah, I started learning blender because I was like I don't know if I can really afford to kind of keep working with cinema as often anymore I know they have as like a $60 a month plan, but I'm also like I don't know There's there's still a lot of things in blender that I really like but personally, just like, even when I've gotten really good with Blender, moving around and stuff, it, it doesn't matter how good you get with it, it's just that objectively, just measurably, there are more steps in between doing specific things, certain moves and alterations when you're modeling, than there are in Cinema 4D. Um, so it's kind of a trade-off. I really value speed. I really, be, I really value being able to like, and just like, pull shit out like that. Um, in Blender, it's like, there's a lot of sort of like, I don't know. It's it, There's more steps in between things. That being said, I know Blender does have a lot of really powerful like plugins and sort of, um, uh, you know, since it's like openware kind of stuff, it is modular. So if you knew how to, you could potentially program Blender to work more like whatever your style is and you can make it so keys do really crazy thing that nobody else's blender does you know um so yeah it just kind of it kind of depends and hold on um let me see if you can see this i'm gonna bring up uh just really quick uh yeah i'm like i'm drying my my clothes so my let's see I washed my clothes today, but I have like these wool sweaters. And they just, you know, I don't want to fuck them up. So I kind of have to air dry them. Um, let's see. Probably do these guys next. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, blender is plenty powerful. It's dope. Right now, my weapon of choice is Cinema 4D um, for the things I like to do. But I can, you know, hop back and forth between this and Blender sometimes when I want to do something very specific. Okay, so back to this cursed mess. Um, we're doing Slenderman as a Latino spy in the 1960s, and he's severely um, affected by... What do you call it? Um, oh my God. I forgot what it's called. There's a thing that happens when you when you, it stunts your growth, and that's what's happened to Slender Man here. So we have like a little baby Slender Man that's on a little plane. Perfect. Look. Perfect. Great. Oh God. Okay. So how do you solve this again? I think you go like right here coordinates, scale, and like do this. Okay, now I 
account looks like a little boy. Let's do 20, 20, 20. Still kind of looking like a little boy, so maybe 25, 25, 25. Too big, 23, 23, 23. This is getting closer. That looks pretty good, right? Maybe, maybe if I just brought the chair in a little bit more. Oh wait, but his feet are hanging out the fucking ground. <laughs> like a little kid still. <laughs> okay, so so he needs to be. I should have I should have honestly scaled this with. I should have modeled this with the figure in there. This is why you bring a figure in. I think. Let's see. I'm at least gonna make him so he's like. You know, it just has to match proportions and then I could scale the chair later. So that looks okay. Actually, what am I talking about? This looks fucking fine. That's fucking perfect. Plane seats are crowded as shit. I don't know why. That's great, yeah. These ones look a little more luxurious, but I mean, I think I think this looks fine. For the purpose of this game, this is great. Okay, next, let's uh what do we what do we got here? So it's like rows of I don't know if I'm going to be this intense about it. I feel like maybe what I could do is two like, do you do one aisle? I think I'll do one aisle. But then these are international flights, and I feel like on international flights, you are when you would have the two aisle thing. So maybe what you could do is like, maybe instead of three, 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 it's two, two, two. So you still have two aisles, but instead of having three seats on every fucking row, um, let's see how it looks. All right, so, uh, what do we want? Like an array modifier? And then we go like that. Oh, no, 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 we want a, what is it? Mm, cloner. Airplane seat. And the cloner. Zero. And then we want it in a grid. Zero on the Y. Um, let's see. Size? I always forget which one's which. Transform, here we go. Oh, nope, position. No. Nope. There we go. Okay, oh, that's the count. Oh, you know, you know what I need to do first is like, I take this, so it's, so you still have two like that, and then you get these, all G, uh, airplane, seat, underscore, pair, then you put that in the cloner, and then you take the cloner, You only want one, maybe do three. Oh, okay, 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 right, 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 like that. There we go. Okay. And how much space do you give them? I kind of nailed it that first time, huh? Like less than that. You don't want to give them too much leg room. They are on an airplane. That looks pretty good. Wow, I kind of like Talking, oh my god. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing my mind. Um, 
Sorry for being a little late on this. How many, okay, though I wasn't, okay, good. How does Unity see our income? Because you know, if you if we use Unity Personal and we make income more than 200,000, then we have to upgrade the Unity plan. How can Unity see our income or it just initi initiatives from ourselves? Yeah, so like, I think, I think Unity looks at, if I had to take a shot in the dark, because that's what this is, I'm imagining that your <sighs> you could probably get away with it. I imagine that you could probably get away with some massive amounts of success, right? But but I think as as soon as you hit over two hundred the two hundred thousand mark, that they're going to notice you like that you'll sort of become culturally like i imagine it's probably somebody's job at unity to like look for successful projects that are made with unity maybe yeah pretty much near, <laughs> near what near snape says unity is watching i think i think that's no joke i think that's probably a thing um and uh if not then yeah just it might it might honestly come down to just sort of like I don't know, maybe the honor system. Okay, so how many seats is this? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we just do five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do five. What if we did, what if we did that? What if there was just a plane that looked like this? Just like, great. What if there was one plane and it was like you're all the way back here in this row? Oh, it's so cool. I love how you can see their heads popping out. It's gonna be so dope. Okay, it's not what we want. Um, I am gonna go with five. And I'm gonna just shrink it a little bit. Is that too much shrinkage? Maybe 18, maybe 16 is better. Okay, that's good. I think it'll be like that. And then like this. And then, oops, like that. Okay. That seems good. I was joking, but if you earn that much per year as it is on a per year basis, then I'm sure it could be affordable. Yeah, yeah, no, I I, I agree. Like I, I think that 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 like your you know, um your income kind of does match that they need to keep running one way or another and it's insane that they are largely a free platform um and uh yeah that just that makes sense to me yeah you know it's a good question i've, I've often wondered about it myself i haven't had too much concern about it though only because i was like i don't know if i'm ever really gonna make a game that makes that much money any year <laughs> that would be amazing i know um now there are a handful of games out there. I remember when the Stanley Parable came out and I remember Davey Reedon was like, you know, tweeting about like, holy shit, we just sold our millionth copy or something like that. And it was very short after and it was like, fuck man, this game at like 12 bucks or whatever, like him and that dude are millionaires, you know? The, the other guy, I forgot his name. He, he was like a former level designer. Um, okay, so here's the plane layout. Save this. Mm. And. Oh man. Uh, what time is it? 10 o'clock? All right, I could do this, I could do this. I am, however, going to take a drink of water really quick.
I was so tired today. So fucking tired today. Okay, so it needs a... You know what? I, I'm kind of seeing like the... If you look closely at this picture, there's sort of like modularity to this plane. Where it's like, you see these walls? Like, that's a piece. You know? I could build it like that. I could probably build these little overhead things too. I could probably make it like... Each seat... Or each two seats has one wall unit and each wall unit also has one overhead unit and each wall unit has two windows in it so we could do something like <clears throat> you could do it like uh let's see mm. uh is there a mission on the plane so um, you know, it's so funny. It's like I, do, I haven't really said too much about like all the stuff like what you're supposed to do or how the game is supposed to function and everything but the way So it's like there's the six cities, right? And To get to each city you have to take a plane over there Even if it is like, you know, even if you could presumably take a train I was thinking at one point like oh, okay, maybe some places you take a train to but I'm just like Too much work. Just fucking take a plane. All these places do have airports. Just do that um so, when you go from city to city, you have to take a plane. And since so much of the game is about, like, globe-trotting... Let me see. Globe-trotting. I say this so often, I just want to... The action of traveling widely around the world. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, like, the in the game, you are traveling all over the place and a lot of it is like looking for people you know and a lot of it is um sort of like following people and a lot of it is sort of the uh, reading the environment to see how it's been affected by people that you're following you know and i just thought it would be great where if when you were traveling from city to city if you could run into the people you were looking for or if you could run into people who were looking for you, you know? Um, because there would be these really tense moments where you're on a plane and you're supposed to be very civil and you're supposed to kind of like bite your tongue and not really do anything. Um, and then while you're there too though, like it could also be a place where you slip up and like, you know, spies are talking about stuff and it gets overheard or if you just see somebody with somebody that could tell you something. It's like, oh, they're they're traveling together. That means they have a relationship. They're either friends or working together or something. And that could like mean something, you know? Because a lot of a lot of the game is going to be about like relationships. Since so often you're looking for someone, a lot of the clues that you'll have to go off of is like, well, what is their relationship to these other people? Because you can use sort of like degrees of separation. You know, it's like, oh, a friend of a friend, or I've seen this person with that person. Um, especially if people like lie about that kind of stuff. It's like, oh no, I don't know who they are. But then later on you see them together. It's kind of like you can start sort of building um, uh, a case in a way for like all the conclusions that you're going to have to make based off of how you see people interacting with each other. And um, yeah, the plane is just like, you're going to be traveling and they're going to be traveling too. So that's just, I thought it'd be such a cool position to be in where like if you basically disable the controls, right? And you're just sitting here and you're just in sitting down mode, right? And then all you can do is like look around, you know? And you could just, and you could maybe like get up a little bit and like look over there. Maybe you can go to the bathroom and stuff like that. Um, but you pretty much just have to sit there. And I want people to like pretty much just sit there on the flight. I haven't figured out like you know how to carry that along too too well yet without getting like boring because I definitely don't want to make them just sit there and do nothing. I definitely want there to be something engaging about every time you're on a flight. Um, since sleep is a part of the game, um, there uh, and it and it's not like quick sleep either. It's like you sleep however long your character is asleep is literally however long you you sit there and let them sleep. Um, and 
that is sort of when you can go into like again, man, this, this is the thing. Like, I'm just rambling, and you know, you're, months from now, you're like, the game is nothing like this, and all that shit you're talking about, watching people getting on planes, like where the fuck did all that shit go? I'm gonna be like No Man's Sky, right? But like, but ideally, what I imagine kind of like the the, the sort of like idealized version of this is that. You know, when you sleep and stuff, you go into these dream sequences. And the game's called Memories of a Spy, and a lot of it, again, is like, you know, your memories about people and about things and, you know, building this picture in your head based off of things that you either uh, are really recalling, based off of things that you've really seen and experienced, based off of things that you're not sure if they were uh, dreams or not. Um, and I know that sounds abstract and like, how do you do that in a game? But you know, like, I want to do, like, sleepwalking stuff where it's, like, if your character, if you just want to grind and grind and grind and, like, no, I'm on the case and I'm being followed or I'm following this person and if I just go a little bit further, then I could finally get this, this, or that, but at the expense of sleeping, you know, so you're going into cafes and slamming coffee and you're just staying caffeinated and trying to stay awake and trying to keep going. Um, but but after a while, you hit a threshold and, and you, like, in real life, this has never happened to me, but... Or maybe it has, uh, maybe, I'm not sure, but I know in real life, when you're sleep deprived, um, you will black out and still be conscious. So in a moment, you'll suddenly stop and go like, oh, how the fuck did I get here? When did I start, you know, like, when did I make this sandwich? I don't remember making this sandwich I'm in the middle of eating or something like that. Um, and so all those kinds of things are gonna, um, <laughs> are going to be uh, problematic and kind of get in the way of you solving your case. And so that's why you, you end up wanting to sleep and stuff. And so on planes, that's a thing you do on planes. When you got a long ways to travel, you, you usually find uh, a nice time to take a nap. Um, and um, that can also be a missed opportunity because if there's a person that you're following that's like sitting next to you, they might be talking about something. They might be divulging information. There might be something that you can observe about them if you decide to stay awake a little longer. <laughs> I hope I hope any of what I just described makes it into the actual game. Um, God, do not send me off on rambling tangents about what this game should be. Um, well, yeah, that was the first thing I thought about when I first got Unity. Creativity with ducks. Ducks? How's it going, Creativity with Ducks? Hi, I'm also working on a new game in Unity. Dope, what are you working on? What's what's it like? What do you got going on? How you, how you uh, how long you been working on it? Near Snape, sorry I missed the earlier stream. It's 6 a.m. here and I just woke up and I'm out for my morning run in like 45 minutes. Oh, nice. Creativity with Dash, what are you working on? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, Near Snape. Let's find out what Creativity with Dash is working on. Uh, are you gonna get voice actors? I would really like to. I know some really talented people, um, really great voice actors, and there's there's honestly some people I really want to work with. I actually reached out to uh, Sungwon Cho. He's pro ZD. If you've ever seen his sketches on YouTube, um, I'm a huge fan of him. He does amazing voice work, and uh, I reached out to him. But it was the email I sent him. I was like, I'm working on a prototype. You know, like. It, it was very sort of like, um, you know, let's let's play this by ear kind of stuff, and I'm I just wanted to figure out how to even get in touch with if if he had a manager and stuff like that. Um, but when it, when this does get around to like proper recording time, and if I believe that what I've made is of a quality high enough to approach him with, uh, then then I will finally actually give him a, a, a more proper approach and, and be like, hey, like, it's finally here. Let's fucking do this. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. So, where was I? I was in the middle of putting this chair... Mm. Okay. Scoozy. So it should be for every two seats. So it'll be something like... 
If I can make it... Yeah, let's just do it eight. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. And yeah. All right. Mm. So we do one piece at a time. Okay. And it looks like it's nearly double their height. But that seems so outrageous. This is, oh my God. That's kind of crazy. That is nothing like a modern plane. Look at all this headroom they have. That's insane. There's so much headroom. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna dial that back a little bit for for create creative. Uh, let's see, where's our our guy? Let's bring him over here. Plop him down. Scooch him over. So I imagine that if he stood up, he'd be like that tall. Okay, that seems pretty good. And uh, actually maybe I should put him at his full height, right? So he'd be like at that point. So he'd be able to reach above his head and grab the overhead compartments. Okay. So I'd probably put it like right there. Right there. All right, and then Let's see, eight views watching, eight folks in the chat, seven folks in the chat. How's it going folks? Where are y'all at right now? Where are y'all at in the world? Okay, I think uh, we will actually try to do this curvature too. So how am I gonna do that? I think, I think I may be able to just go like this, then maybe like this, select that, and then bevel it. Oh shit, okay, hold on. Offset, oh shit, oh shit. Depth. Hmm. Fixed distance, radial. Tension, oh depth. Huh. I wonder why it's not letting me... Hmm. Very strange. Offset subdivisions. Oh, rounding end gons, maybe? Let's do... Like that. Nope. Corner and guns, partial rounding, convex, offset, no, depth, solid, nope, fixed distance, radial. I could have swore depth was gonna be uh, proportional, no. Hmm. I wonder if you grab all these and then use this. No. Okay. Well. <laughs> Lots of good that. Oh, you know, maybe I could do this. That looks like it might work.
Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's what I wanted. And let's do it like that. And let's bring this piece like that. Yeah. That's the side of our plane. And let's bring these up. Okay. Could honestly even take this, make it a little less extreme. There we go. Looking good. All right, and so now we have to put windows in it. Oh, I'm always afraid of using um, Boolean. Let's see, let's try it out. We'll take this, plop it up there, turn this boy off. Uh, we'll take, what do we want here? It's kind of like, um, you take a cube and then you make it editable and then grab each of these sides. Yeah, these sides and you bevel that shit. Ooh, 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 ooh in the other direction like that and then let's change the subdivisions a little bit like it's a little less cool um, and then if we so if we take this little iPhone charger looking thing and we use it to poke holes in here for the windows. I imagine this could end up, let's see. So here is the cabin wall piece. And here is window subtract. And we will, mm, Take a bool and put these in there. Uh, this one goes on top. There we go. Nice. Cool. Do you want to publishing the game with a publisher? I'd be open to it. You know, if if somewhere down the line this became something that was like stable <laughs> enough. Um, I think I, I, I have hopes that I could build a properly stable game um, but but that is something that does scare me like I don't I don't have any doubts in my skills as like a game designer but as a programmer it is a daunting thing because that's when it is more of a just empirically based like did you build a system that doesn't fucking break you know um, so yeah if, if I got to a point where it was like solid enough Honestly, even if maybe it wasn't, but a publisher said, like, we can get somebody to help you. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be open to it. Um, it all just depends on the terms of the contract, because I've heard some shysty things. I would reach out to that dude, Thomas Brush. I'd be like, what do I do? Can you f get your lawyers to look at this? Like, how much money should I be spending? Svamin Verma says, Svamin Verma? Verma? Hello, I am your new subscriber. Liked your explanation. Oh, hello, and thank you for subscribing. Am I saying that right? Svamin Verma? Verma? Um, welcome to the stream. I hope, hope you got some, uh, some good laughs in so far. I don't know how long you've been in here. Okay, so we're gonna put this window subtract, subtract piece uh, underneath this one. Oh, does it not do? Okay, yeah, it does. Great, great, great. Yeah, nice. Okay, so you put one right there, you put one right there, and then you... I think that works out, right? Does that kind of work out? All right. Because even on airplanes, like, the way the windows are staggered, it isn't always perfect. Sometimes you end up like not having it right next to you, you know? 
Um, okay. So I'm going to copy and paste that, turn it off, <laughs> just to kind of have as a backup. I'm going to put these in a little thing called backups. Turn them off. Um, okay, and then for this one, I'm going to, I'm just going to make it editable because I'm not going to do that crazy indentation thing that they're doing. Unless... No, I'm not going to do that crazy indentation thing. Bake that shit. And then connect objects and delete. That's all I wanted. Boom. So now it's one piece. And the geometry isn't a total disaster. That actually looks decent. That actually looks OK. It's going to be kind of funky when I'm mapping this shit, but you know. Can't all be fucking perfect. All right, that's fine. That is fine. <laughs> okay, so I think maybe the way you do that is you do like a flat projection and then you, let's see. Oh, hold on. FLCL, what, like a game? With a cartoon. Okay. Um, are you playing inside? That game was very great and gorgeous, made with Unity and some Playmaker. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just downloaded it recently. I just downloaded uh, both of them, Inside and what was the other one? Both those games where it's like the same developer has that very similar aesthetic. I have not played them yet, though. How'd you like it? You say it's great and gorgeous. What was what was your experience with it? Um, okay, I think I will just do this. Let's just fucking jump in. Okay, UV edit. Great. Um, I'm gonna grab all this. I'm just gonna do this stuff, that stuff, I'm gonna go from right here. I'm gonna do frontal, no, no, flat, frontal, yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way up like this so I can get nice high res shit out of it. And then everywhere else is just going to be a solid color. Can I get rid of that? Okay. I think box, cubic, cubic. Shrink it down like this. Boom. Take these pieces too. I forget if I grabbed all that. Does that all have one piece or does that go somewhere else? Aha. Okay. This is over here for some reason. Okay. That looks good to me. I think, I think I'm pretty, oh, wait a minute. Hmm. What about all this? There we go, let's bring that down too. There we go, all this shit. 
all you go in the little spot over here. And so just this stuff should now only be that. Yep. Great. OK. The developer is very creative. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. I remember that being such a huge thing. And it's been a while, too. The game's been out for a minute. But I remember kind of like just thinking like uh, this was a game that I, I thought I could like show my friends to be like, hey, did you know games could be like this? You know, I remember thinking like this is a great example to kind of prove to people that there's more than just like, you know, even though like is like so much fun. Don't get me wrong. I've, I, I have way too many hours in BF4, BF3, BF2, uh, and you know, lately I have been fucking with BF1 pretty hard. A um, little bit in BF5 as well, but man, so many hours in BF4. Holy shit. Sunk hours into BF4. Okay, okay, I need to focus here. Let's do this shit. Grab all the faces, uh, layers, we're gonna do file, new texture, uh, we're gonna do 12, 1200 by 1200, um, okay. And then new layer, then we're going to grab this brush, colors, black, size, gonna change it to two. I'm gonna come over here and, oh wait, grab all this first, there we go. And outline polygons, there we go. Okay, gonna get rid of this layer, file, save texture as a PNG, um, textures, airplane, uh, airplane cabin wall piece. Uh, UV text, uh, UV outline. Okay, and then in Photoshop, come over here, spy game, textures, airplane, uh, drop this bad boy in. Whoa, okay, copy. Paste it in here, uh, and we will grab these. Control G, uh, cabin wall piece. Turn all this shit off. Um, and then we'll just. What color? What color are these walls? Like the same color as the armrests. Oh, I said they were gonna be that other one, huh? Cause they're textured. Yeah, nice. And then the outline could be like, oh, fucking, damn, I should have done that for the whole thing. Hmm. I wonder how bad it would get stretched out if I did it like that. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Cause that would be really cool. If I did the whole thing, like this. I think I could do it, right? And then um, let's do a new layer, delete that old one. And then we'll do UV mapping, go to this angle frontal, okay, make sure it takes up a lot of space, that's pretty good, that's good enough, right, or is that going to bug me if I don't at least try, okay, make it smaller, right here, then it's all this stuff. Okay, nice. Now we grab all those. 
layers. Oops, wrong one. There we go. File, save texture as, PNG, this one, write that shit. Back to here, delete that shit, drag it in. There we go. Okay, we're getting close, we're getting close. So now I can put that texture in, this one. Um, I think, I think it's worth tiling like this. So that part doesn't get it. There we go. Okay, so it's all like that, except for these edges, which So close. Rounded ellipse tool. Uh, oof. We don't want to fill. Okay. And let's make that shit way more 20 oh whoa 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 oh not that much 50 50 okay maybe 65 oh okay that looks better and then where's the thickness at little bit right there okay and how do I scale that shit up now like I hope I didn't commit to it right okay good so what does it look like on here it looks like it's right around the edge. So maybe I do have to really zero it in. And change to pass. Maybe make it a little bit bigger over here. Okay. Like this and like that. Great. I mean, honestly, while I'm here, I may as well just go all the way like that. Boom. Okay, I think that looks good. And it's gonna be, uh, let's make a copy, keep that as a backup, um, change its opacity all the way up, 
change it to something like a light gray like this yeah and then what we'll do is give it inner shadow but we'll make it brighter let's zoom in on this shit though inner shadow distance choke size there we go yeah all right there we go turn it off and that's kind of the edges of our windows oh yeah fucking a let me save this Spy game, textures, airplane, airplane, textures. Okay. Looks good. Oh, shit. Wait, what did I just do? Okay, fuck. I tried using uh, Cinema 4D controls to move around right now. That totally fucked everything up. Okay. Um, gonna move, gonna copy and paste this. Yeah. All right, and then turn that off. And then, it honestly doesn't matter because that's just empty space. So I'm gonna save it. Let's see. Um, airplane cabin wall piece. I'm just gonna. Boom. Whew. Wall piece. Oh, I'm so stoked to see this. Oh shit, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 nice. Fuck yes. Good, good. Came out well. It came out well. Nice. This plane is looking good. Uh, can the playmaker code a physics? Yes, playmaker can do physics. Um, yep, there's all sorts of collision, gravity, you know, kinematic, all the, all the settings for uh, Unity's built-in physics system, plenty of actions there to do everything you need. Um, and then I know Unity has that, like, in development thing, the dots or something like that. Um, that stuff, I, I, I would imagine that there's things that exist on the, uh, on the ecosystem that you could get. Um, yeah, there's there's plenty of stuff available for you. You're good. Playmaker can totally do physics stuff. Because it's Unity. Unity does physics stuff, you know? Any of the native stuff inside of Unity can be controlled by Playmaker. Basically all of it. Um, I think... I don't know, maybe render engine stuff is kind of where I don't think there's much of. Uh, I know the new input system, they're working on that. Um, but yeah, pretty much like all the basics are covered. Okay, so what's left? Build the overhead compartments? Fucking hell. Priced. Making video games is so much work. What time is it? 10.38. I honestly, honestly, I, I think I think it's time for me to call it a night. I think it's time for me to call it a night. I'm really happy where, with where this plane is at right now. I think what I'll do really quick is just see what it looks like when I uh, just put them all next to each other like that. 
just to see how cool it looks. And then put him down there. It's so good. You can see their heads poking over. These airplanes are so gaudy too. Okay. I'm happy with this tonight. Um I'm going to I'm going to close this up. Do you want to save that? Mm. No. No. Okay. Mm. This. So to the remaining two people here, I'm going to close this out. Thanks for sticking through to the very end. I don't know what time it is where the remaining people are, but hopefully not too late. Hopefully you get some good sleep in. I'm gonna try to try to wind down, maybe play some video games with my friend, maybe watch my friend watch Fully Cooly. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by everybody. Have an awesome night. Take care near Snape. See that take care dude. If there's always this lag, so I'm always like shit. I'm gonna say bye and then I'm gonna sign off and then they're gonna say bye when I'm already gone. And then it's just like fuck, uh, but. I caught this one, so thanks. Get some Shake Shack. Nah, I'm done, I'm so full. I'm done, on, I'm, I'm filled up on pecan pie. Uh, but thanks. Have a good night, man. Peace.